rise up, let's offer this prayer. You ask God to give you the grace not to be ignorant of your faith. Under pressure of temptation, pressure of temptation of sickness, disease, or whatever. Ask God to give you grace. Give me grace, Lord, not to be ignorant of my faith. Under the pressure of temptation, pressure of tension, of temptation, of sickness, disease, hardship, set by. De maladie, de la grâce, de ne pas être ignorant de ta foi face à la pression de la tentation, de le, des épreuves, de la maladie ou des difficultés. Pídele a Dios que te dé la gracia de no ser ignorante de tu fe bajo tentación, bajo problemas. Whatever you are facing under that temptation, ask God, Lord Jesus, give me the grace not to be ignorant of my faith under the pressure of temptation of your situation. What is your situation? Because when the situation comes, we seem to forget that we are Christian. Demandez à Dieu de vous donner la grâce d'être conscient de votre foi, même face à l'adversité et aux difficultés. In Jesus Christ's name. You know, you seem to forget when you are facing a challenge, when you are facing a situation, you seem to forget that you are what God says you are. You can do what God says you can do. You seem to forget you have what God says you have with God, with you, all things are possible. You seem to forget when you are facing situation. You and God together, you seem to forget that you and God can move mountain. You seem to forget when you are facing difficulty. You have to come together, you and who? You and God must come together, join hand together. There's no monte, and there shall be no monte. You and God. But you seem to forget this when you are facing what? Difficulty. You need to remember the more difficult and trial time you have been facing in the past. The key to succeed in life, if you're a child of God, any time there's difficulty, quickly remember the more trial and difficult time you faced in the past. This will impart strength to face the present difficulty you have. have. Just take your time to remember. This is what happened to, to Defi. Defi walked majestically to King and said, King, I'm going to face this gladi that have disturbing my brother and country. The king looked at him, who are you? He said, yes, I used my bare hand to kill the bear. And then when this man came to disturb their country, he quickly remember the difficult and trial time he overcame. And he now look at Bear to Goliath. He said to them, let me face this man. So in the same day, that is the key for you to defeat your present situation. Tell your neighbor, this is the key to defeat my present situation. Yeah, you can use the same key to open and to lock. Remember, David remembered 
And he walked majestically to the king. Take your time. Sit down. Anytime you are facing a challenge or situation, remember the more difficult and trial time you had in the past and you overcame. So that will impart strength to face your present situation. I don't know what I can face now that could be greater than the one I have faced in the past. Can you see? In the same day, I don't know what you can face now that can be greater than the one you have passed through in the past. Once you remember this, that will impart a strength to face your present situation. You remember half of us here came from village. If not 90% of people here came from the village, you should remember those days when you are drinking dirty water. But today you are drinking pure water and yet yellow fever. Now you are drinking pure water. Where does the fever come from? Tell me. You, you are from the village. You remember in those days when you cook soup, this soup can spend 10 days. You keep warming the soup. Keep warming the soup. And the more you warm, the more it's sweet. <laughs> can you warm the soup today? When you cook soup today, can you warm it tomorrow and eat it again? But in the village, these are the things that brought you up. Remember how you were born. Many of you were not born in the hospital. The people you call your enemy now, you know you were a little baby in their prayer. They are the one feeding you when you are a baby. Your mommy alone cannot take care of you. They will leave you, you'll be roaming about, moving around, moving around. You move around them. But today you have seen them as someone who can kill you. So this is the key I'm giving you today. That any time you are facing a difficult challenge, remember the more difficult and trial time you had in the past. This will impart what? To what? To face what? to face your present situation. You need strength. Are you talking of your career? Remember the kind of school you attended in the village? School without roof. School without what? You studied there under the rain, under the sun, but today look at what you become. And if you don't know the kind of school you attended in the village in those days, go back to the village, go and see where those children are studying now. So these are the things you put together. When you think about all this, you know no one can stop you. Say, only me can stop myself. No one can stop me. No one can stop you. You can only stop yourself. If you could not be stopped then, now no one can stop you. So you need strength to fall down. This is how I not show myself. No matter what come to me now when I just remember, when I just sit down and look at my accident, my accident, where I am coming from, what I've gone through, and whatever happened now, I smile. I say, you are a baby. Yeah. I smile. Once 
you don't trade your joy with your situation. You overcome. Tell your neighbor, stop trading your joy with your situation. Once you stop trading your joy with your situation, you will always overcome. Because you need joy to overcome a situation. No matter how big the situation, if you don't trade your joy with that situation, you overcome it. But once joy is gone, you cannot overcome the situation. This is what situation wants to take away from you. He want to take away your joy. <laughs> My God. He want to see you sad. Situation want to see you what? He want to see you sad. And once the situation come and you are sad, I will let go over this. Oh my God, this is too much for me. Then under that situation, you cannot pray. Under that situation, you cannot think of God. Under that situation, Oh. Immediately you lose a sense of reasoning. Anybody around you is your enemy. You will not be able to give your best. There is a phone call. I pick it. <laughs> I pick it. I say, Hello, your house is, is on fire. You mean my house? Yes, it's serious. Firefighter, they are there. You know, I was smiling. <laughs> People around me will say, what happened? What happened just now? What happened now? I'm coming, I'm coming. I have traded my war with war. Look at you, you are happy now. Satan knows what he can do to stop that happiness. He knows. As you are dancing, 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 they just, somebody wants to see you. Eh? Where? You know, see me. Where? <laughs> Don't make it very easy for Satan. Somebody is fighting you, fighting you, just. Your strength you have that to fight by, you just relax. You make you just make it cheap. You are dancing, somebody just say, somebody wants to see you. Just, somebody wants to say, where? Where? Somebody wants to say where? Okay, there, I'm coming. You want to feel it dancing. <laughs> How many of you can do that? Have you ever finished dancing before you attend to somebody want to see you? No, I know you. So please, stop trading your joy with your situation. If you have serious pain in your hand, you can choose not to trade that pain with your joy. Serious pain. <coughs> How are you? Fine. The pain is there. Fine. <laughs> I have not been seeing you. Fine. I'm, I was not around. OK. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that pain is inside me. The pain does not want to hear joy. Where there is pain and joy is there, the pain will not last. Where there is sorrow and joy is there, the joy will not last at all. They don't see. It's like cat and rat. You that are looking for a job, if you can choose to be happy, you will soon get a job. You that are sick, if you can choose to be happy, the happiness from the heart, with that sickness and you choose to be happy, that sickness will not last long. Your marriage is under threat and somebody trying to, to turn it upside down, choose to be happy and see what will happen next. Do you know it is the situation that meets joy? It's not joy that meets situation. Tell your neighbor, situation meets joy. Joy never meets situation. If you study your life, it is situation that meets joy 
in one's life, situation come to joy. It is joy that owns you. Situation never own you. Situation meets joy. When snake is coming to your house, you close the door. You don't run away and open the door for snake. So stop trading your joy with what? If you can do this, situation will come, but it will not last. And you learn a mighty lesson that will help you. Take my antecedent from beginnings, as you know me. The name of this ministry is supposed not to be Church of Our Nation. When church was just 18 number, the Lord said, this is Church of Our Nations. <laughs> How many ministry you know in your country that bear Church of Our Nations? If it is not a ministry of vision and a mission, first church was destroyed, second was destroyed, how many of business you have done and you still remain in that business? I don't think anybody still remain in the business you begin with right from the beginning of your life. After so much challenges, if you don't know where you are going, you cannot continue. You will not be able to wait for God release if you don't know where you are going. It is when you know where you are going, you will wait for God's release. Tell your neighbor, when you know where you are going, you will wait for God's release. You will wait patiently for God's release. But when you don't know where you are going, you will release yourself. You have been releasing yourself. You release yourself in business, in marriage, in churches, in everywhere. You just, ah, this embarrassment. How can you be lying against me? You walk away. You walk out of the community. You walk out of the business. You walk out of the church. You walk out of marriage. What kind of insult is this? This is embarrassment. I can't believe what you are saying. How can this pastor be lying against me? Eh? You walk out of the church. In marriage too? How can my husband be lying against me? How can my wife do this to me? You walk out of marriage. Business. Oh my God, I'm supposed to be promoted. Look at my junior. I trained this man. Look at him. He has been promoted above me. You walk out of the business. This is the life you have been living. Situation has been releasing you. Challenge has been releasing you. You hear what Joseph said when he was dropping the pit, he said, I know where I belong. Because you don't know where you are going. He was in the pit where there's no water, no air. There, yeah, he said, I know where I belong. This is not where I belong. So you may be seated. Thank you. When you are laughing, Satan is crying. When you are crying, Satan is laughing. Are you with me? I say, when you are laughing, Satan is what? And when you are crying, Satan is what? So stop trading your joy with what? With situation. No matter what happens, hold your joy. It is by joy you can overcome your situation. If you lose your joy, situation will overwhelm you. Situation does not want to see joy. When situation sees joy, it sees. When situation sees joy, it what? Immediately. That is, it stopped. 